Today I'm going to be sharing an updated setup of my work planner. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashton. Today I'm sharing the setup of my classic size happy planner. This is the planner that I use to plan my work as a self-employed artist. This is the main planner that I use to organize all of my work projects and weekly planning and notes and basically anything that my business requires. Now I'm also working on a um, video where I will share how I plan my business on the computer as far as the digital planning that I do. So I do use iCal for my weekly planning and I also use Trello to plan out my projects. So I'm excited to share in a future video how I use those. But then as I get closer to each week and day, I do my planning in here and I write everything down on paper. So paper planning is very much essential for me even though I do use digital planning as well. Starting out in the front, I have this clear pocket and inside my clear pocket, I'm going to put a piece of paper behind this so you can actually see it. But these cards are printables from Hey Planner Girl and they are fillable printables so you can actually type in whatever you would like. I will definitely leave a link to it below, but she has some incredible templates for planner cards and inserts that you can actually customize yourself. And what I did is I printed these out on clear sticker paper and then I stuck it to a clear piece of lamination. That way I would have some clear cards. So the first one on top is the table of contents that just kind of outlines what is in my planner. And then goals, I have my 2022 goals for the year. So I love having this right up at the front of my planner. I do have clear dividers um, also from an Etsy shop that I will link below and I made some labels myself. I just typed up a bunch of labels on clear sticker paper and then stuck them onto the dividers and I also stuck some of them onto some page flags over here. So my first section is my goals and projects section and so I have a printable from my shop on vellum, just a calendar of the year. I'm going to share my or skip my goals section for now um, just because it does have a lot of personal info but I do have a previous setup of this planner where I did share that in a little bit more detail. And then new to this setup I actually added a sketchbook section so because I do work as an artist a lot of times um, I find myself doing art on loose leaf sheets of paper or vellum like this one. <laughs> And I kind of realized that rather than putting them into the sketchbook that I was using, I can actually trim down the paper and then punch it so it can go in here. So the sketchbook that I'm using is this one from Target. It is the Fringe brand. And I believe it was around $12. And I just love this paper. It is pretty thin as far as sketchbook paper goes, but for this type of stuff um, that I'm usually drawing just to scan into the computer, I like to use this paper. And the size is very compatible for to the Happy Planner um, paper. So it's actually the same width. I think it is a little bit taller. So I just cut this down and I really didn't have to waste much paper because the sizes are so similar. And then from there, I just punch them using my Happy Planner punch. And I also have done the same with some watercolor paper. So um, for paintings, I do use, I do like to use watercolor paper. So I also have these tabbed, my, sec my sketchbook section I have tabbed with um, A, B, and C. And those are just to kind of um, separate different projects that I'm working on that way any of my um, sketches and paintings I can kind of group by project and I love that I can move these around if I need to so it, it's a little bit more helpful than a traditional sketchbook because I can actually move the pages by project so that's very helpful and then I just have a bunch more paper ready to go I also have these blank pieces of paper from the happy planner I really like these so sometimes if I just need some blank paper, I have those too. Then my actual planning section, I use one of the Disney Princess Happy Planners. So it has a yearly calendar here. On the overview, I use a color code. I just use some 
clear dot stickers from my shop to mark when I post YouTube videos, newsletters, and blog posts. I just like to have an overview, so I just put these in after I've already posted things. And I just like to have a nice overview to see how often I'm posting and where I'm posting at a glance. And then, although I do really love the monthly layout of this planner, truthfully, I have not used it very much. Um, I'm just mainly a weekly planner. So you'll see that my month sections typically go unused, but we will go ahead and flip through the weekly section. So, um, I did find the matching sticker book for this planner, so you'll see that I've used quite a few of those stickers, and then I have some stickers that I've designed. This vertical weekly layout has been working really well for my business, so typically what I do is the top row I use for surface pattern design work, the middle section I use for my online shop, and then at the bottom I put anything that's personal or just anything else that I'm not sure where to write it. I also designed my own vertical inserts that would kind of fit the way I wanted to plan a little bit better. So it has three boxes, but then it allows me to have a greater space at the bottom and then have a lined column on the side. So I have been using those a lot as well. And I'm kind of just alternating between these and the Disney pages just as I feel like it. I really do like both, but Depending on how I want to plan, I kind of have used both. So this is the current week. You can see that I have sticky notes. These are all just temporary things for me that I will just keep them in here until I'm done with the tasks and then throw them away. But um, currently it is Wednesday, so um, I will finish filling this out by the end of the day. But I try to just plan like for the current day and then the next day as I go. Um, I also did design an hourly version of my inserts and I have not used these yet but I do have them in here in case I want to use them so I just keep a few months ready to go and then my final section is reference so basically this is just my notes section any ideas that I have I will put in this section I'm gonna skip it just because there is a lot of personal things on it right now but I keep this bookmark in my notes section to let my let myself know like where I left off so I know to flip directly to this page to make a new note and I have just a variety of paper from the happy planner I like lined paper I also have these checklist pages and I also have these half sheets these are really good for putting inside my weekly pages if I just have some temporary notes to make. And then at the back I have a folder full of stickers that I frequently use. And the plastic folder is just from like a regular folding plastic folder. I just cut it down on the side and then punched it so it would fit in here and that is working out really well. And that is it. That is the work planner setup. So let me know if you enjoyed the video. I would love to hear any comments or questions you have. And I will talk to you again soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.